Hello, Shigar here. We are on part one of Clan Destiny. It will be the new series for our Tuesday video. Um, as far as I'm aware, um, this sh may just be a two-parter. From the information I got, it should only take about two hours to complete. So, let's see exactly what this game is about. Uh, this was a game that was gifted to me by Perfilion, um, fun, interesting streamer that I enjoy watching from time to time. How long has he been sleeping? I'm not sure. Will he ever wake up? At this point, I'm not sure if he would even want to, my dear. Is he a sad person? Very sad. That's why I need to help him. Is he pleasant? He used to be, long, long ago. I need to remind him of who he was. Ugh. I don't want to get up. She's going to be pissed at me again. I'll clean it up later. You can now interact with objects by pressing A. Jesus, I look awful right now. I need to quit drinking. I feel dirty and grimy, still. Now is not the time for a bath. I don't need to use that right now. Why the hell is it so dark? Maybe the power's out. I should go find my flashlight, it's probably in the storage room. Found my flashlight. Now I just need to find Elise. Press Y to use a flashlight. Just some rations. Bags of assorted rices and pastas. A couple boxes filled with random things. A couple... Uh, they're just for storage, really. Drawers where I place miscellaneous things. There won't be anything useful right now. An assortment of books which slightly piqued my interest at one point. Huh? The clock isn't moving. There must be something wrong with it. Consuming even more alcohol. That's probably a bad idea. I don't need that right now. There's a note addressed to me. Hayden, I have chosen to live with my sister for a while. She is such a nice homestead, and her husband makes plenty of money. He promised my sister that he would help pay for my therapy sessions, medicine, and treatments. With my condition the way it is, I fear I may not have the support I need while living with you. You can come visit me if you would like, but please sober when you arrive. I hate it when you are intoxicated. Please be sober for me. With love, Elise. Why would she have typewritten the note? I have to find Elise. I don't go anywhere without my revolver, though. I'll quickly grab it from my bedroom. I'm not really in the mood to eat. It doesn't sound like the radio is working. That's my Nangant M1895. Ah, six, seven, sixty-two millimeter Nagant's bullets are already inside. I think I remember where her sister lives. I just need to grab my keys and I'll be off. They're probably at the front door. Press B to open the menu.
I found my car key. I've got everything now. It's time to go find Elise. Sometime later. What the hell was that? Eh, your car is dead. Battery must be dead. Huh? It's smoking. Maybe I could take it to Bernie's garage. He's always helped me with car problems. Looks like I'll be pushing the car there, though. Alright, I should go talk to Bernie. Press the left shoulder to toggle sprint on and off. It looks like the garbage hasn't been taken out in weeks. This place fe feels very abandoned. The crank is rusted. There's no way it'll ever turn properly. The window has bullet holes in it. Was somebody sleeping back here? That's awfully disgusting. It's just a bunch of sewage flowing in the river. I don't think I can fit through that crack. There's blood on the door. I keep telling him to wear gloves when he works. Hey Bernie, you in there? It's Hayden. Bernie, I'm having problems with my car. Looks like I'm on my own. You probably have some tools inside I can borrow. What the F? That's blood. I need to get these tools and get the hell out of here. Uh, even if these were the right tools, I don't want to touch them. Scissors aren't going to help. Just a pile of trash. I think I could fit through this hole. Looks like it goes in the bathroom. There's more bullet holes. This time they're in the concrete. What the hell happened here? Damn it. Door's locked. I'll use these tools. Okay, so what? Where am I? Sounds like it's getting closer. 
Who's crying? <laughs> Holy shit, what was that? Hey, Hayden. You were in there for a while. You alright? Bernie? What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well, the good news is I fixed your car. Your accelerator pump must have fallen off somehow. She's all good to drive, though. You can pay me later. I know Elsie's treatments are expensive. Uh, thanks for the help, Bernie. Not an issue. See you around, Hayden. Okay, so what the hell happened? Was I hallucinating? The tools I got from the bathroom are gone. Was I just drunk this whole time, dreaming? Maybe I came to Bernie's and got drunk in his bathroom. I need to stay focused. I've got a long drive ahead of me. I'm still quite a ways from the water ford. Okay. That, that was weird. This brings back memories. This is one of the most expensive properties in Waterford. It's a miracle that Ralph has been successful and wealthy. He always has... He was always one to share his wealth with his, with his family and friends, even to Helen's dismay. There is no doubt that this household is better for Elise than my small apartment. I should check in to see if she's doing fine. The mailbox is empty. The home is just as I remember it. It seems less lively with no one in it, though. I should see Ralph, Helen, or Elise are here. Why is everything always why does everything always have to be dark? An assortment of books, none particularly helpful for my situation. Okay, that should be a lot better as far as volume. I'm starting to try to get this adjusted a little bit better so you can hear me a little bit more easily. I know I'm a bit quiet, so apologies for that. The door is locked. They must have hidden the key somewhere. Why must the world continue to tempt me? I don't particularly enjoy, particularly enjoy being an alcoholic. The tub is full. The water is cold. It has probably been sitting in here for a while. I'm not in the mood for music. Home upstairs. Anybody home? What the hell? Where the hell is everyone? I don't need to use this right now. Okay, I'm in the attic. I found the Cunningham home key. An odd place to put a key. Hmm. There's a 762 bullet in here as well. Finally, a stroke of good luck. My revolver is full now. A couple bags of flour. Empty. Dishes. Plates. Silverware. Nothing really useful. A 
perfect match. Home backyard. Their backyard looks as if it has not been maintained in quite some time. There's nothing out there besides an old abandoned cabin. The cellar is the only place I haven't looked for them. I don't know why they would be down here, but it's worth a shot. What was the time for my flashlight batteries to run out? I can't see a thing in here. For me? Okay, give me one moment. Gotta lurk on somebody's page. Nobody else is here. I could use a drink after all this I've been through today. They probably won't be coming home for a while anyhow. Okay, what was that noise? Ugh. Again with the vomiting. What was that noise? What the F is that? Seriously, what the F is that? Right shoulder. Holy. I need to get out of here right now. Press X to reload the revolver. the first aid kit. I'm not feeling that bad. Maybe I should save it for later. Use the number one key in the med kit for a quick slot when needed. Also use items from the inventory menu. Okay, so I wonder how it's how the game is saved. The door is right there. I should probably conserve my ammo. Maybe best, best to run. If I keep its back to me, it may not even see me. If I run too fast, it'll probably hear me, so I should try to take it slow. Alright, I had enough of this. Who is effing with me? This bottle is labeled Drowsipan. What the heck is. I'm assuming some kind of sleeping agent. How did I get here? I'm back in the attic. It's different, though. It's a typewriter. I could use it to write down my progress. <laughs> the whole Resident Evil thing. Total saves. Eight. There doesn't seem to be anything else to do in here. Time to leave. You can use the Drowsipan from the inventory to return to the Cunningham Attic. Drowsipan has unlimited uses. Leaving the attic returns you to where you last used the Drowsipan. There we go. 
the hell? Okay, what the? The shells are completely destroyed. The piano's a lot nicer. What's with all the blood? Well, if I want to get out of here, obviously the way I want to go is through the front door. Okay, what is with all the blood? Of course, I can't go through the front door. That would make the... That would make the horror game finish a lot easier. You exited through the front door. You got into your car. You escaped. Congratulations. Game over. I'm never going down there again. Oh. These were not on here before. There's four uh, bullets on the table. These will come in handy if I run into any more of those things. A trail of blood leads out into the forest. I pray to God it's not Lisa's. The only thing out there is the Cunningham's old barn. Okay, so... I'm guessing that's more or less it. So let's go to the barn, I suppose. More blo bloody prints. Well, that sucked. <laughs> More bloody prints. More blood. There's two of them at the door. I have no choice. I have to kill them. If Elise, Helen, or Ralph had to abandon the home, they'd be here. I said I hoped it wasn't Elisa's blood, but I sure wish for anything just to see her face again. You can use the sound from your gun to, or a bush to lure enemies. This is Cunningham's Riverside Cabin. Elise and I used to come here often when visiting. It's where we spent our honeymoon together. There's so much blood. I better check inside, though I fear I what I may find. Okay, can't go that way. The 
blood trail has ended. It looks as though they've been using Kevin for storage. I just wish somebody was here as horrible as that sounds. I only want to know that I'm not in this nightmare alone. Bernie is the only other person I've actually seen. I should go back and talk to him. I'll head back to my car in the morning. I should be safe in here. Those things couldn't get in even if I wasn't inside. Who are you? I'm not sure. How can you not know your own name? Call me whatever you want. How about Hatman? Oh dear. Uh, sure. You should get comfortable. Would you like a drink? I have wine and tea. I'll take the tea. I'm trying to quit drinking so much. That's probably for the best. I'm sure she would prefer that. Who? You know who. What a strange dream. How long have I been asleep? I feel refreshed, and it seems like I'm in one piece. No sunlight. It never seems to turn bright outside. I better get back to my car. It's a first aid kit. Empty. A couple of bags filled with garden fertilizer. Bags of soil. Okay, so let's go ahead and save, I guess. Okay, so I guess it auto-saves, because I only save like, twice now. Just my luck. I'll probably end up catching a cold. It would be best to keep moving, then I can continue down the road to my car. Sound of bushes in this place. That was, that was just a narrow point that way. Get my car. Perfectly safe. And it's not gonna start. Perfect! Are you effing serious? I've got two things to talk to Bernie about. There's no way I'm pushing it this time. It looks like I'm walking back to Albany. I need to head south through the city of Troy. If I just follow the road, I'll get there soon enough. Okay...
these creatures are out here, aren't they? Just following the road. The road is safe. The road will protect me. Kind of. I hope. Hopefully there are no cars coming down that bridge. Don't tell me. Hey, little girl. What are you doing out here? It's not safe. Are you listening to me? Why are you there? I'm looking for my daddy. So there are others. Your daddy? Maybe I can take you to him. Where are you from? Daddy and I live in Troy. Troy? Hmm. What's your name? Alice, mister. What's your name? My name is Hayden. Tell you what, I'm heading into Troy myself. Would you like to come with me? I'm a strong man, Alice. I fought in World War II. I can protect you. Protect me from what? The things. You haven't seen them? I haven't. You're scaring me. Sorry, but I can't be the only one. I need to find Daddy. Hey, Alice! F. I can't let her head in Detroit by herself. Alice? Maybe she went in there. Alice, are you in here? It doesn't look like she's here. Not again. My head. Where am I? You again? Damn it! Why are you surprised? You're the one that comes to see me all the time. Well, time to get to work. Why do you drink so much, Hayden? What's wrong? You're the real charmer. Why are you bothering me about my drinking? I don't want to talk about it. Again? You came to see me. Just answer the question, Hayden. I'm here to help you, remember? I can't get the images out of my head. Which images? I saw horrible things. We arrived at the Drachu too late. The things they had done. Are you sure this is the reason you drank so much? Maybe it was something else. Can you remember what it may have been? I can't remember at all. I will see you again soon. It would be best for you to remember. Remember what? So, cold. I feel like I've been sleeping out here for days. It's locked now. It's locked. That too. I 
I thought I saw Alice going through this hole. I remember this place. It's an old grocery store. It seems sort of run down right now. Hopefully Alice is inside. I hope she's not and I could just ignore it and keep going. Of course it's locked. I'm pretty sure the owner lived nearby. I had no hopes of finding him. But maybe I can try to get the key. The mailbox is horribly rusted. Yorkshire Apartments, first floor. It's locked. This place makes my apartment look like a mansion. I found four bullets. An assortment of books I really show no interest in. It's a blood bag. Empty. It's not working. The power seems to be off. I should find my way to turn it back on. Found a bullet. Couldn't even take out the trash. More books. Various dishes and bowls. I doubt that would help me right now. Okay, I really don't like that music. There's a security grill over the basement stairs. I need to find a way through it. It has a lock on it. Maybe someone has a key. Just some old stains. Here we go. It's a maintenance key. There's nothing in particular, particularly interesting in here. Hell? Exactly, what the hell was that thing? I hope I never have to see one of those ever again. Shit. <sighs> one of my controllers for my VR fell back behind the couch and scared the ever loving crud out of me. Almost had it. There we are. Oopsie daisy. 
Oh, but seriously, this game is... <laughs> okay. I have no idea what this thing does. Just some useless trash in a box. Two more bullets. like it worked. Alright, time to clear the upper floors. What floor would you like to go to? Okay, I'm already on floor one. Uh, floor two, I guess. What? It's a key. It has numbers 3-4 scratched into it. Die? Okay, so 3-4 must be floor 3, door 4. First aid kit. Okay, so I'm doing good on health items. It's another. I have no need for a second. Right beside the bathtub. It's fairly morbid. It only has one bullet in the cylinder. I guess somebody came to their senses. Okay, so I have two full rounds plus three of another. Okay, so I guess that's that floor. Uh, floor three. Oh, uh, the <laughs> I didn't think this would be that nerve-wracking. It's locked. It's also locked. This one, too. So this must be the door that I have the key for. Okay. Finally, the tag on the key says grocery. Looks pretty tasty right about now. Alice, you need to come with me. It's not safe here. I need to find Daddy. I can help you find him. Uh, damn, she's gone. I guess that it is true. There's nobody around besides Alice and I. Maybe even Bernie and uh, hopefully Elise. If Alice doesn't want help, then fine. That leaves Bernie. I should scavenge the rest of the city first. Nobody else here is going to put anything to use. Bleach. Maybe drinking it could clear my thoughts. 
shampoo. I wish I had the code. Never mind. Money has no use right now. Alice crawled through here without an issue. Me, on the other hand. Okay, seriously, what the heck is that thing? Oh, what's this? Four bullets. So I spent two, I got two back. Good. I guess that's it in here. It'd be nice if the power was on. This coffee is very cold. It's been here for quite some time. Eh, crud. I thought I had my gun loaded, um, armed. Oh, what the F? Okay, I hate that me noise and sounds. I found a pendant. I'm not sure what its use is. Maybe Elise will like it. Hey Elise, I found this lovely uh, necklace for you in the trash. Would you like it? Is it ketchup or catsup? I'm getting too distracted. A box full of random junk. A box full of fresh tomatoes. Onions. Some corn. In a place like this, I have expected to find ketchup packets, not a blood bag. You expected to find ketchup packets in a first aid container. Well, okay. I mean, whatever. We all have our own sense of what's in what. And I think you're a little screwy, so... Last place I need to be. This isn't a time to drink, but I need to find supplies. I really shouldn't be in here.
It burns. I'm dying here. All my medical supplies have been destroyed. Hopefully there's something here I can use. Type of med medical supply I like to stay away from. First aid kit. Thank you. bunch of empty jars. Probably used to be full of pickled eggs or something. Well, that sucks. I will not survive long without medical supplies. There should be a hospital nearby. I'll find plenty there. It's locked. Locked. It's locked. Well, I didn't expect that. St. Mary's Hospital, Lobby. Alright, time to scavenge. Medical Supplies 3. Pretty. I found three bullets. Two bullets. I'll have a feeling I need them. Oh, you won't be... you aren't joking. It's a pile of money. I have no use for currency anymore. Oh, a copy of Life in National Geographic. It looks like National Geographic wrote a, s wrote of a study on veterans with mental issues. Ironic. Why am I finding bullets in a place like this? Another bullet. I don't want to know why these are here. I'll just assume arts and crafts. Sure, arts and crafts, that's it. Three more. Actually, I think I saw something. Oh. Nothing useful. this. It's labeled adrenaline. Well, I'll take it. Although I'm not particularly sure what it does.
I was, a, I was expecting medical supplies, but I may have found something better. It's the hospital elevator key. Blood bag. I would prefer a first aid kit, but it's a start. It's an emergency exit. I have no reason to leave through here. child's drawings. They're oddly comforting. Okay, so far so good. It should be able to explore the other floors now. No, well, floor two, I guess. I've got another question for you, Hayden. What do you want? I'm a father myself. Are you like me? Do you ever want to have children? Elise got pregnant before I left to go to war. She's still pregnant now. Congratulations. Though when I got back, I was a little unstable. I'm not sure if I'm fit to be a father anymore. Unstable, you say? Let's leave it at that. Of course. Okay, so with that, we're going to go ahead and call it here. We're going to head back to this attic place. Save. And with that, I do want to thank you all for joining me today. Um, hearing one of the characters be called the Hat Man is slightly discomforting. Um, we'll see where this goes. So in the meanwhile, I do want to thank everybody. Again, uh, I really do appreciate it. So with that being said, this is Shigar signing off. I will see you tomorrow with more... Um, what game was I doing? I don't even remember what game I was doing. I, I'm playing so many games. Um, yes, YS. I'll be back tomorrow with more YS uh, 1. So, y'all take care, stay safe, and this is Shigar signing off once again. I will see you tomorrow. Y'all have a good day, and I will see you later. So, goodbye for now. <laughs>